Hello, welcome back to another pen talk. My previous one was quite a longer than usual, over 20 minutes. This one, I promise, will be shorter. Um, this is a pen a lot of people are familiar with. And I found a great buy on Amazon, and I hate to keep repeating myself, but I love buys. And it's a Caveco. And I have one of these that I've looked at before, the Skyline series. And that one I paid a little bit less for, but it came just wrapped in a plastic bag. And I always admired the box that Caveco uses and, and this nice packaging that they have with their pens. And it came with... Uh, a gold clip included. It also came with six cartridges, a nice little sticker. It was just a really nice, all in all, interesting way of getting it. And I just love the pen. You know, Quebecos made a number of different versions, but I think this is one of the first ones that has a clear cap and a clear barrel. And they call this cognac from the supplier. So, I, again, Caveco Sports are, are quite familiar. Uh, they're nice. They're a beautiful pocket pen. And I just, I, I just love the color combinations here. And uh, so uh, we're going to take a look at this, how it writes. I'm going to do an eyedropper. I'm going to fill it with cognac ink. So um, we always use a little pure silicone grease on the threads. This is another uh, Amazon purchase. Uh, you get this for, I think it was about six bucks. Uh, you can also get it from Goulet pens, Anderson pens, you know, any of the major pen suppliers will provide this with you. So just put a little bit evenly on the threads. You don't want any on the top, so uh, that's good to take. And this is the ink we're going to use, and I'm going to. I bought seven of these bottles at Amazon. They're twelve fifty a piece, including shipping from Germany, and it's a phenomenal amount of ink. It's it's over uh, three ounces, so I think it's a hundred milliliters. So that's great, and I'm impressed with the ink. I like it a lot. So uh, when filling an eyedropper, I use my trusty syringe. Uh, compliments of Goulet. I'll purchase from Goulet Pen. So. I'm going to put in about two milliliters. It'll probably take a little bit more than that, but uh, that'll be enough to start with. So what's nice about using this is you can fill it from the bottom up, and it's easy to see when it gets near the threads. So there we are. We're going to screw back in the uh, nib and feed. I'm going to put back on the cap and we're going to let this set for a few minutes and let that ink saturate the feed. Uh, for those of you that may not be familiar with the Caveco Sport line, I thought I would compare these two that I have. One is solid um, color, the other one is uh, transparent. Uh, they're very good at being consistent in their labeling and it's uh, nice that the uh, trim on the purple one is silver and the trim on the cognac one is gold. You have the Caveco emblem at the top of the cap which uh, if you look at some of my other videos is uh, consistent. And then if you uncap them there's a um, silver colored nib probably just plain steel and then a gold plated nib on the cognac. So it's nice their attention to detail. And as you can see it is an extra fine on the cognac one, so uh, I think that was representative in the writing, but uh, you know, it's still a nice nib. I may exchange these nibs just to see what it would look like uh, with the medium, which probably is more to my liking, especially with this lighter ink. So we're at a good distance here to put nib to paper and see what we can get. And I really am bad so this is a fine nib and anybody who's ever used a Caveco I'm certain this nib is 
typical they're very consistent with their nibs uh, there's no flex to this but it's a very very smooth writer uh, good ink flow this ink is a little bit lighter than I would normally use every day but I couldn't pass up putting cog <laughs> cognac ink in a cognac pen so uh, <laughs> that's it so again I just wanted to give a, a quick view of what I think is an interesting uh, version of this pen you know kind of like Lamy Safaris I'm certain people collect many versions and uh, the cognac version I mean, Pelican had uh, an M200 one and that also became popular but and uh, for $30 I'm willing to invest in in this design and uh, I will enjoy it and add it to my pocket pens which uh, many occasions I just throw them in my jeans pocket and use them for writing with so that's nice and this one certainly works as well as any of my pocket pens and as the camera refocuses well thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at a new Caveco Sport so may all your writing experiences be pleasurable may you have many may you experiment and try different things life is to have fun and enjoy many things bye